Sorry, my mic is not working. Uh, I think my Wi-Fi is acting up. Can you repeat that? I, I couldn't hear you properly. We've all been there, making these excuses at the beginning of a meeting only to buy yourself time to quickly do some Google research about the people, the companies, or the last discussions that you had about them. All this is fun until it actually starts affecting your work and your business. Doing these last minute researches about the people and the companies you're meeting is not only affecting your bandwidth, but also messes up your productivity because you're trying to do too many things at once, not being able to give your 100% to any of them and at the end doing a mediocre job. It leaves a bad impression on your clients and your colleagues too. And for me, roughly 60% of my day is taken up by meetings with clients and team members, just like any other working professional. So for me to solve this meeting issue and this last minute preparation, I really tried to find a solution for a long time. And the good news is I finally was able to find something. This one AI tool helps you save three meeting related problems all at once. Mindy's daily brief has been designed to seamlessly integrate into your everyday workflow. Once you sign up, Mindy is preparing a daily brief for you and delivers it in your inbox every morning. Your daily brief will consist of concise summaries of your events scheduled for the day and dossiers with further rich insights on your meeting participants and the companies that you're meeting with. It's like having your own AI personal assistant that ensures that you're always prepared because all this contextual information that Mindy prepares about the people, the companies and the meetings will enable you to make a good impression at every meeting and be always prepared. And now let me talk about all the three problems that Mindy helped me solve and how you can also use Mindy's daily briefs to 10x your productivity. So I'm a big believer that success happens when preparation and opportunity meet. And every new meeting presents you with a new opportunity, right? Because maybe you can start building a new relationship, maybe you can close a client, but if you don't do your preparation, how are you going to make a good impression? And for me actually, I get anxious if I go into a meeting without preparing, without knowing anything about who I'm meeting with. And in the past, it did happen. And I was scrambling before meetings, not being productive and just, you know, being confused about who I'm about to meet. And I would spend my time jumping between LinkedIn, Google searches and emails. And this wastes so much bandwidth and so much valuable time. And it also happened that I would know a little bit about the people that I'm meeting with, but nothing about their companies. Not a single thing about the company history, recent updates, maybe financial statements or acquisitions or, or um, some money that they have raised. If you know any of these, it immediately gives you some sort of information that you can grasp into and use as a, as a touch point, use as something to start building that relationship. And with me in these dossiers, I get all this information delivered to me every morning. And all the meeting preparation takes is just opening my calendar brief email and then jumping on the dossier to view all this information. You get detailed information about the people that you're meeting and the companies that they represent. So about the people, you will know what's their career track record, uh, what have they done recently, you know, if there is any sort of publication about them, or even their social media updates. So you get all the necessary information to quickly click with that person, do some icebreaker, and you know, get on to building a relationship. Plus the dossier also contains a complete overview of the companies that your meeting attendees represent. So you will know how many people work at this company, uh, when was it established and any sort of recent update. And that will enable you to tailor your pitch effectively, to get into things quickly. And you know, it takes five minutes to read your dossier and you get a complete insight and complete overview. And all that information will give you the confidence and the skill set to walk into a meeting knowing that you know how to build a relationship with this client. Now, a lot of times I would also struggle to remember important details from previous conversations or just in general forget when was the last time that I had a touch point with a client. And this would lead to missed follow-up opportunities, but it would also lead to a weakened client relationship because if I don't remember details or I don't know when we last spoke, you know, I'm definitely not on top of my game. The good thing about Mindy is that in your morning briefs, Mindy also shows when was the last time that you had a meeting with a certain person that you're about to meet on that day again. So let's say that you had a touch point with someone four weeks ago, Midi shows this information and you can quickly go into your inbox 
inbox, go to that specific date and read up the previous email threads that you had with this person. If you're meeting someone for the first time after, let's say, three months, you quickly get all the information about what has happened to them. And with all the information that Mindy provides in these detailed dossiers, you are enabled and confident to bring up topics that are relevant to your client and that make a good impression on them. For me, it's always been a challenge to get my entire team aligned before meetings. And I want you to imagine this situation. At two o'clock, you're about to have a big presentation with a client and super important to close this deal. At 1.50, you invite your team members to do a debrief session. And that 10 minute debrief session can turn into a meltdown quickly if you find out that others haven't prepared for the meeting, uh, if notes from previous meetings got lost, or if your team members are trying to do their lunch break in that 10 minutes. And you know, after the debrief, you walk into the meeting with the client with a complete frenzy, with the anxiety of what has happened before. Now to avoid situations like this, Mindy can help you ensure that everybody on your team is aligned and have the same information like you do. Mindy's dossiers can be automatically shared with your team members with just a click. If you go into your settings and enable pre-reads, everybody with the same company email that attends the meeting that you do get the same dossiers delivered to them. So with Mindy's briefs automatically shared between your team members, you can ensure that everybody is fully prepared, everybody has the same information, and there is no need for that time-consuming pre-meeting coordination. And not only this, Mindy's dossiers are actually not only useful for uh, uh, sharing information about the companies that you're about to meet. You can also use the dossier to take notes during meetings, uh, which then Mindy will again share with your team members and also summarize for them. So all that sort of like messy note taking that happens during a meeting, Mindy sums it up and makes it more digestible for your team members and yourself. And you know, I never realized that I was spending so much time and energy on these little things until I came across this tool. And the worst thing about these little things is that they quickly add up. So if you are planning on spending eight hours of productive work every day, you can quickly find yourself only actually dedicating four hours because you're just juggling between tasks, trying to figure out who you're meeting with, when is the next meeting that you're having, and getting into sync about the people that you're about to meet. And with Mindy, I feel like all this is handled for me. I'm a lot more in sync about what I'm doing in a day. I feel like I'm better at interacting with clients. I get more things done, and uh, I've never been this happy with my work life. So I challenge you to also give a try to Mindy. If you have any sort of other productivity tools or other productivity hacks that you're using, make sure that you leave a comment about them. Uh, we left a link about Mindy in the description, so make sure that you check out and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video soon.